Brahmacharya means godly conduct. Conservation and transformation of vital forces. Also, conscious control and right use of vital forces. Brahmacharya is one of the virtues restraints. In Patanjali's Yoga Sutra 230, Brahmacharya, conscious control and right use of vital forces, is on the path of Raja Yoga the force of five external restraints, yamas, that should be cultivated and realized in order to refrain from harmful behaviors. Brahmacharya is a universal law. Their application is not limited by time or cultural conditions. Patanjali's Yoga Sutra 231 Roy Eugene Davis writes in his commentary on this. The necessity for the cultivation and actualization of these attitudes and behaviors is not limited to the era in which we live or by cultural conditions because they represent the ideal, responsible way for everyone to live. The Way to Brahmacharya to weaken and neutralize harmful inclinations, replace them with constructive actions. Patanjali's Yoga Sutra 2.33 Roy Eugene Davis writes in his commentary on this. The easiest way to control and overcome the influences of harmful subconscious inclinations is to nurture feelings of happiness and self-confidence and to intentionally perform constructive actions. An optimistic mental attitude enables us to be receptive to experiencing ideal outcomes for all situations. Happiness and self-confidence clarify awareness, improve mental abilities and powers of perception, enable functional skills to be used more effectively and strengthen the body's immune system. Brahmacharya in life In Patanjali's Yoga Sutra 238 it says when all thoughts and actions are fully conformed to one's aspiration to be self-realized, physical, mental and spiritual strength is acquired. In his commentary, Roy Eugene Davis notes the following. Brahmacharya, the Sanskrit word used in the original text, is godly conduct that is recommended for one who aspires to self-realization. When mental powers and vital forces are conserved rather than wasted, gross energies are transmuted into fine essences that strengthen the body's immune system, refine the brain, enliven the nervous system, slow biologic aging processes and greatly improve powers of perception, intelligence, will and concentration. Worry, stress, purposeless actions, compulsive behaviors, mental confusion, emotional conflicts, Overeating, excessive fastening, addictive behaviors, excessive talking, lack of sleep, poor health habits and toxic environmental conditions 
drain vital forces from the body. Use this technique of creative imagination to cultivate and realize the attitudes and behaviors of Brahmacharya. Knowing that you are a spiritual being superior to your mind and to mundane circumstances, do the following. Meditate at the beginning alone in a quiet place. Sit upright on a chair, close your eyes and relax. Breathe three times deeply in and out. Concentrate on the area between the eyebrows and watch your breath. Don't try to control it, just observe your breath. Cool air while inhaling, warm air when exhaling. If you like, you can use a mantra. When your mind is calm and your awareness is clear, vividly imagine that you are Brahmacharya. You are godly conduct. You are a good example for right use, conscious control, conservation and transformation of vital forces. Remember Patanjali's Yoga Sutra about Brahmacharya. When all thoughts and actions are fully conformed to one's aspiration to be self-realized, physical, mental and spiritual strength is acquired. Clearly see yourself as this person who is fully established in Brahmacharya, in godly conduct, and feel it at the deepest level of your being. Imagine and feel how you as this person will think, how do you speak and how will you act. The feeling that you have should be of acceptance and gratitude rather than an emotion. Rest for a while in that awareness and feeling of accomplishment of Brahmacharya.
maintain your clear awareness and feeling of accomplishment of brahmacharya after your practice session.